Hello everyone. Today's video I want to do a figure review, which I know it's been a little while. The last one I did was of Arc Trooper 5's, my favorite clone, and today we are going to be doing Star Wars Rebels Ahsoka Tano. Now I know that this figure is very old, but I'm kind of just throwing these videos out here because I'm collecting them at my own pace. So when I get a new figure, I just like to review it. So that's what we're doing today. So jumping right into it, the front of the box is very nice. It gives a good display of the figure while also protecting it pretty well. And I in like the color palette. Here is a another image of the front that just shows off the figure a little bit. Now here's the back of the box. I actually really like this a lot. I think the art is amazing. I know it doesn't look like Rebels Ahsoka, but that was an animated show, so it's going to be kind of hard to do. So there is a little bit of info on the back of the box if you'd like to read it. If not, let's move. So taking her out of the box, she is a very solid figure. I think they do a good job of trying to capture the animated feel very well. Taking a look at the front and the back, I think it's safe to say that they stay very true to the figure and I really like it. Not only that, she comes with her white lightsabers. I've seen videos on YouTube saying that you could remove the saber part, but I don't know man, I tried pulling and they won't come off. So I don't know what to say. Maybe they changed them in recent years, but that's just what I've noticed. Now here's an image of the sabers without Ahsoka holding them. Again, very nice sabers, but I just cannot remove the saber part. Now moving on to the flexibility of the figure, we see that her arms go this far. So you know, if she's trying to hit the gym, she could do those lateral raises pretty well. Her forearm goes this far, her leg this far. A little bit disappointed by that, but it's pretty good still. Finally, she has a place where you could put the sabers on, just like in the Star Wars Rebels series, which I think is absolutely amazing that they did that. Overall, the Emperor Palpatine Black Series figure is still my favorite, but I'm going to give this one a very high rating, man. I really like this. I think it'll go very well on a shelf, and I would recommend this to anyone, especially if you're a Ahsoka or Rebels fan. And that's about it. See y'all later.